If you ventured down to the construction site of the old Cedar Avenue Bridge, you might be wondering about the new color the structure is sporting. Turns out the hue is historic. We are currently painting the bridge. You can see some completed spans behind me. We're painting it the original historic gray color that the bridge was originally instead of that rusty brown pe that people are used to seeing. Senior civil engineer Julie Long says each span takes about a month to paint. Crews are finishing up span five now with only span three left. Once the railings are installed, the bridge will be pretty much complete. But don't start planning your Cedar Avenue adventure just yet. We have to take out the temporary structure, so there's going to be a lot of vehicles driving back and forth, so we can't actually open the bridge until the temporary structure is gone. And unfortunately, we think that's going to take until around Thanksgiving, which is the end of the bicycle season. The bridge is set to officially open the following spring. It is very nice to see the final product. Of course, like any engineer, you look at all the things that are wrong. And those are all the historic things that are we left intentionally, but they drive me a little crazy. For example, Julie pointed out this baton. Depending on the light of the sun, it sometimes looks like the paint is feeling. It's not. We left it there on purpose. But it's one of those things that unless you know that reason, you're going to look at it and go, now why the heck did they do that? Wood forms were also used to mimic the original pine boards used when pouring the concrete back in the 1920s. Little details that will preserve the bridge's history. We have been extremely lucky on this project and it has gone really well. We have not had very many delays at all. We were surprised. Um, given that it's a historic structure and you're taking it apart, you don't know what you're going to find. But besides some exterior gusset plates that were more corroded than expected, construction has gone smoothly. And soon pedestrians and bikers can again enjoy this historic connection in the River Valley.